here with the mission team um, in St. Mary's and St. Joseph in Poppington. Having a great time, a really good uh, two days so far. Uh, the mission team are fantastic. Uh, it's uh, an honour and a privilege to be uh, in their inspiring presence. The hope I have for young people is the hope I have for everybody, that all of us will come to know the person of Jesus Christ uh, personally. The key thing for us is that the gospel message is uh, tied up intrinsically with the person of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So that should lead them into a relationship with him, a life of prayer and hopefully um, a place in the life of the church as well. So the best thing about the mission team is the fact that they come in, they're really enthusiastic, kids love them and they give us stuff that is easy to understand and it gives a message straight and clear and they're really great and I strongly recommend you get me. me is the music must be doing something because this morning there were a group of year 11s in form singing one of the hymns that they'd uh, been learning yesterday and it was just so lovely to hear young people singing and really enjoying it so mission week yes. oh, brilliant um, more of it and let's hope that uh, the singing and everything else continues the theme has been spreading the gospel message and in a sense that's all we want to do as a mission team our job really is to come in and let young people know how important the gospel message is to us and hopefully they'll value our contribution and recognize that the gospel message can be important to them like how if, as long as you're happy god's happy in what you do and what you want to do one thing that i particularly remember was father paul said it's like you've got to be a hundred percent yourself which is something i'm really going to take away and like learning about like all the like vocation and how it's going to help in the future to find out what my vocation is okay then i wonder are there any of the 10 best ways that are more important than the other ones yes don't kill don't kill okay they're getting a fantastic amount out of the mission it's really provoking and challenging them uh, men mentally and also uh, physically for some of our children with the dances and so forth that we wake up and shake up in the morning. Um, it's amazing the empathy that the children are developing with each other, bonding around the common themes that we're exploring this week in school, that to realise that they are all saints and they are all wonders and they are all gifts. I think it's just re-energised everything, you know, things that we've tried to do and uh, have done in the past, uh, but it's got the students involved, them to, to think about and actually lead. And I think that's a, a key thing to have, give them an opportunity to take leadership in their own lives, but using their talents and gifts to share with others of what they do, what they're capable of doing and it's fantastic to see. I think I'll be um, a bit more confident in, um, in my faith. I mean, it's not, um, we, people can be quite, you know, why do you believe in that? But I think it's taught me to be a bit more confident about um, practicing my faith out and preaching it to other people. Um, so sort of more confidence um, and not be shy and just speak out a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably try a bit more confident as well.
it's much easier for us to recognise our weaknesses and sometimes you have to go to other people and say what do you think's my gift? What do you think is my strength? And to watch the children give each other those really deep uh, empathetic thoughtful responses that uh, that are sincere it's been a real real benefit it's been been amazing to witness in the classroom it's hard to say because there's loads of good things about being on the mission team i like that we always are doing new and interesting things we meet loads of people and we get to travel around the middlesbrough diocese which i love the feeling you get when you finish a mission uh, before I joined the team I knew it would be good um, but I didn't know how good it would be how good it would feel particularly after the last mission we did in Doncaster because that's my hometown it was um, it was just a brilliant feeling and we as 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 practicing members of the Catholic Church should take seriously the the the, the, the job that's been given us the task that's been given us through our baptism and confirmation to spread that good news to, to all those we meet. The message will live with the children as they move through school and I think they're going to become more confident, more self-assured individuals that understand their place in the world, the fact that they are valued despite all the other things that go on uh, in life and they're created in the image and likeness of God and they're all a gift, they're all beautiful people, regardless. And that, we hope, will see them through against what are pretty tough times that, that we live in at the moment. So, everything we want for our youngsters is something that we experience ourselves. Maybe not perfect and maybe not perfectly understood or expressed, uh, but we just want to share our good news with them so that they can share it with others. Involving the parents, the, the message is going out to the parents. Come to Mass on Friday, we're doing something really, really special in school. To re-engage parents with the spiritual, maybe they've lost the way and the children are only being sent to a Catholic school because that's where they want the child to go to as a secondary school, for instance. The whole spirituality, the whole development thing, if there's no future for the church unless it's through the young people. So for me it's, it will have a wider impact both in society, within schools generally, and you know, it may even impact ultimately upon church numbers, church attendance. At the end of the Mass we're told to, to go in peace, we're told to go uh, uh, and, uh, and witness to, 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 to the Gospel. We're told to bring the good news of the Gospel to all those we meet. That's a serious uh, commitment, a serious um, uh, task that each, is of, each of us has been given. And, and I think all of us should be doing it, but particularly uh, I think that um, young people who feel that call have a real um, focus in, in, in the youth mission team and, and, and a real uh, possibility of being able to, to live that out uh, in, a, in a very authentic way um, and to do a great task in, in, in the church in Middlesbrough through the, through the youth mission team. So. Go, on, go on witness to the Gospel of the Lord by your life.